My name is uh, Jake. My name is Zessie Bates. My name is Cooper Hoffman. My name is Kristen. Jonah Hill. Dakota Johnson. My name is Sanaya Sidney. My name is Jennifer Hudson. My astrological sign. My sign is a Capricorn. This is from the LA Times. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. It is today's horoscope. And I am a Gemini. Sagittarius. I'm an Aries. I'm a Leo. My sun sign is Leo. My my moon sign is Aquarius and my rising is Pisces. I am a Virgo. I'm a Libra. I don't know if I believe in this stuff, but let's read it. I can't even find the horoscopes. This is embarrassing, Lynn. Ah, okay, horoscope. Got it. Yep. Thank you. So my horoscope for today from the LA Times is Pisces. The way to a productive day is to pick your high priority and give it all to that. Well, that's easy for them to say because my day has been scheduled and it's back to back and it's kind of crazy. My sun sign is Taurus, but my rising sign is Gemini. So I'm gonna read them both, okay? Will intentions ripen if you give them time? Question mark. No. <laughs> so stop. <laughs> In fact, everything gets more difficult <laughs> and labored. Okay, Gemini, maybe this will get better. May 21st, June 21st. The leading role cannot be had by everyone in the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Lynn. I am so proud of my sign. I feel like I am a true Sagittarius. I mean, I think that they're the best sign of the zodiac. I don't know why I'm doing this as if it's a secret, but I think they're the best sign of the zodiac. We're loyal, we're funny. We're outgoing. My astrological sign is Sagittarius. Promptness is a show of respect. Because you anticipate delays, you have the best chance at making a successful impression. Well, oh, that's interesting. I think I showed up on time here, didn't, didn't I? This seems, this horoscope, it seems like a directive, doesn't it? It doesn't really seem like an expression of who you are, right? It's like promptness is a show of respect, okay? <laughs> They shouldn't they finish shouldn't they they finish it with that like comma okay. Love can be wrapping fingers around the things and holding on tight or letting it fall from your open palms. Mostly it's matching your response to others' needs. That is so me. I'm such a Virgo. We are always concerned with others. Uh -huh. I think we're very passionate. Uh-huh. Maybe moody a little bit. Very uh -huh. artsy. Um, we love quality. And I know I personally just love seeing people happy and coming together and goodness. I'm a Libra. October 3rd is my birthday. I'm a Libra. So you hold people around you to a certain standard, standard. yourself to a higher one. You'll be better for the injustice. <laughs> what? I dislike it. <laughs> <laughs> I really dislike this one. Pace yourself. Your, crea um, your creativity is demanding. It keeps inventing situations that require more creativity. I think that's, that's pretty, pretty I think that's pretty on point. <laughs> I think that's pretty on point. <laughs> you planned this. All right, that's good. Yeah, no, that's good. That's great. Aries are like the Labradors of... Um, I've been told that, like, like pup-like, but then also really easy to sort of, like, you know, a little, a little too reactive, I think. But then that's also the cool part, you know? We're here, we're present. All right, Leo, from me and Lynn Hirschberg. Pay attention to the ways people try to motivate one another. Try to understand underlying motives. I mean, you can apply that to any day. <laughs> I, I think I can be naive, and I think I can think that everyone is quite pure-hearted and that what you see is what you get. But, you know, at the tender age of 38, I've figured out that maybe uh, I've, uh, I've been a little giving people benefit of the doubt in certain areas. I think it's time I, I wised up a little bit. There's a bit of naivete that's, that, that wants to be released still. You work at relationships, but you can improve aspects of your style and take things to a masterful level. You know what this reminds me of? Someone texted me the other day a description of a Capricorn. Can I read it to you? Can literally achieve anything they desire. I'll take it. Low key intimidates people just with their mere presence. I don't know if I do that, but. Tends to be secretive and highly sus suspicious of strangers. Really good at ghosting people. I don't know, could be true, could not. I, yeah. 
I, I can't. I could be committed soon if I'm not careful. Nostalgia is a context that not all of your historical relationships. Man, anyone who makes it into this sentimental realm lives in the glow of your goodwill today. Oh my God. I think that means you saw Denzel. Yeah. <laughs> I think that means I saw Mr. Denzel too. I'm not that cliche Taurus. Like I'm not. I'm pretty non-judgmental and I go with the flow. I'm not that hard-headed. I feel like I'm Taurus in the way they're like earthy and grounded and that kind of thing more than, I'm not a grudge holder at all. That's like the last thing. And so I think- So we're saying the LA Times is wrong today. I would have I would have ripped it, but I know other people have to read this. <laughs> Perfect. I, I wouldn't do that to you, Lynn. I'm July 20th, so I'm on the cusp of Leo, so I guess I have Leo qualities. <laughs> Love's dynamics bring out your fearful and your brave side. Connection is more than a match of preferred traits. It's action and reaction to a shared moment. Really interesting. Uh, this is the thing about these. It always says something like, whoa, that applies to me. But I love the thing about reaction because I was just talking about this. I just think that that's the best acting is reacting and really listening and responding and not being robotic. Yeah, reacting, but this is more about my, my love life, um, <laughs> which is a little dry at the moment, honestly. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, I'm working, I'm married to my work right now. I think there is something about horoscopes that are very, very, very powerful and important. Okay. But who writes them, you have to be careful of. 